Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I sit and sweat my buns off and meditate and get clarity and try to make sense of all this wildly auspicious stuff that we're all having to deal with. Okay, so first of all, I mean, there's so many things that are coming in. It's sometimes even hard to decipher. You know, there's just so much information. And this is, and I'm kind of getting off track, but uh, today's day 37 of quarantine. Okay, so um, it's, it's a little overwhelming at times, but so much information is coming in. And this is because we're really, 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 really rapidly moving into 5D. The veils have lifted. We are really starting to experience the symptoms of this new 5D energy. And there's going to be waves coming. Like, there's a bunch of portals coming this year that are going to just bring wave after wave after wave of high-density light waves and particles from across the universe to us. And this is really going to just, like, you know, blast us to the fifth dimension. And in record time, like, where it would take hundreds of years or maybe even a thousand years, it's going to be, like, you know, in a couple of years, we'll be, like... Whoa, new Earth, 5D, totally different reality. And I know that's hard to even comprehend or understand, but it'll be something that we are guided through by our inter interdimensional or extra-dimensional friends and beings. And I want to talk about that first, but they are here en masse. Like, they are congregating en masse around the planet right now, and very soon we're going to be able to see them. I just, I got that so profoundly today. I was like, oh boy, they're here. Oh, they're here and we're going to start to see them more and more. And it's start, going to start to come out on social media. Um, it already has actually. So that'll be our first sort of a real, you know, understanding that <laughs> this is happening here. Okay. Because they exist in the fifth dimension and we haven't been able to see past our limited third dimensional eyeballs. Ah, but that's all about to change. Now, as we transcend into this energy, as we acclimate our energetic bodies and fields and our physical bodies, the earth is acclimating as well. Okay, so you're going to start to feel these crazy feelings. And so many of my clients are already feeling, I'm feeling, my daughter's feeling it. And I may have touched on this before in another vlog, but it's starting to get very pronounced. Things are happening where you're feeling less in your body more in sort of an ethereal state of mind almost and you know people can say oh well that's because we're sitting around the house all day in quarantine but it's not <laughs> it's not and you'll start to see things that are you you question your eyesight because you're like wait well did i just see something and there's a way that you can change the way you look at things so that you can actually start practicing seeing interdimensional beings and things like that because we already have that here but we just can't see it. <laughs> okay, so um, basically you just soft focus your eyes and you can really start to see a lot more things around you. Um, you may start to have, and I know the planet is being reported, is having crazy dreams. Okay, this is the first real awakening happening because our subconscious is being constantly activated right now by these light waves, right? Okay, so feeling like you're out of your body. I had an outer body experience when I was laying in the sun, like just sunbathing because I'm not doing that much right now if I'm not doing a reading, uh, cleaning, <laughs> um, <laughs> doing the vlog. And I literally felt like I was floating. It was the wildest experience. And my daughter, she had the same sort of experience. She woke up and she called me in her room. She was 18. She was like, mom, I don't feel like I'm in my body. Okay, so these are things and you can feel lightheaded, you can feel dizzy, you can have shortness of breath because that can come on. And I mentioned this before. I think that when you feel like adrenaline or, you know, like, cause you don't know what's happening. You can get that. Oh, what's happening to me feeling almost like a panic attack and you can have shortness of breath. Um, you can start having, having lucid dreams where you actually, um, you know, are aware of what's happening in your dreams and you can even control what you do in your dreams, things like that. 
you'll start to be able to, in your meditations to do that type of thing as well, sort of outer body experiences as you practice. And so this first wave of light workers that are all really, 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 really waking up right now, all of this stuff is probably going to be even more amplified. Like they're the first wave of people that are going to be experiencing things because the, the light workers are, are already pre-programmed to incorporate this light. That's why we're here. Okay. So when these things happen, number one, take a moment to sit in it and see how you feel in it and not be afraid of it because it is happening and it's going to have more and more. So you got to get, comfortable with it okay it's being less in the physical and more in the non-physical right so sit in it breathe allow it to take you on this journey of expansion of consciousness and see what happens right so put away any fear you don't have any fear anyway but this is critical because in order to really acclimate in this energy, you have to be very high vibration. You have to keep your vibration high. Keep your joy. Be in gratitude. Gratitude elicits positive emotions. Okay? So if you make a gratitude list, think about things that you're happy, that you're grateful for, your family, whatever, it'll elicit positive emotions, which goes out to amplify more positivity in your life. And you need to be in that state of positivity to even integrate with this light. Okay? So it's a combination thing. But... Once you start practicing acclimating and, and integrating and allowing your vibration to be raised into this fifth, fifth dimensional energy and not resist it, you will start to control it and you'll start to be able to really see the beauty of being 5D. It'll really come across. And this 5D light is really going to take... I mean. The dark is already receding. There's so much going on behind the scenes. Um, and we're going to see all of this play out. Now, I've said before that there could be some turbulence while the last resistance is, you know, trying to keep hold. But they're basically done. Okay? And envision that. Envision the darkness. Envision this, this virus dying off. And being blown off the planet. Envision it. All of us. Take control of our manifestation abilities that are so heightened right now. Like, boom. let's fix this as a collective with the way we think and what we manifest. Okay, this is part of integrating this 5D, right? This is when you become the magical being that you are, but we're in prison in these bodies. So, it's all coming together. The light is here. So... Practice breathing, practice grounding and grounding. You can just connect with Mother Earth and a very good meditation for this stuff is envision in your meditation the light beams coming into the planet, coming through your crown chakra all the way down your chakra column, activating each chakra in alignment as it goes through, down into the center of the earth, coming back out and creating, you know, a repeat so that this light energy, this 5D energy activates you in your energy field and the planet at the same time and it integrates. Whoo, I could go on and on and on, honey. Whoo, it's so intense right now. Watch what you let in. Watch what you listen to. It can take your brain into a bad, bad place. Take the time to disconnect from it all and look and see what you see and feel okay okay i can go on and on thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much please subscribe we're gonna do this together it's ascension time baby Woo! Woo, no, me. <laughs>